Laura Sumari. I finished my PhD last year in April. And I'm coming from Ifakara Health Institute. It's a research institute in Tanzania. I did um, microbiology and chemistry as my first degree. And my second degree, my master's, I did molecular biology. And for my PhD, I did uh, life sciences and bioengineering. The particular research is based on malaria, mm -hmm. and I'm focusing on the parasite side. I'm looking at the uh, parasite resistance. I was also looking for the gametocyte as a transmitting stage of the parasite and assess the uh, malaria prevalence in the country. Let's say I heard from my colleague, Dr. Georgina Amphrase, because uh, we met in, surprisingly, we met in 2000, 2010. Yeah, 2010. She was a postdoc um, candidate who was uh, appointed to be in our institute in Tanzania. Okay. And there where uh, she was also um, very interested with, with gametocytes, the sexual stage of the parasite. So we developed interest together and uh, she was also interested with the diagnostics because I also did my PhD on diagnostics. Mm -hmm. So she introduced me and another group in America, mm -hmm. in Cleveland Clinic uh, in Ohio, yeah. where I also did part of my PhD on, on diagnostics using the magnetic devices for malaria diagnosis. Oh, okay. So we went further and um, I went on for my PhD and Unfortunately, she came back to Oxford. Yeah. And after completing, I, I contacted her and said, thank you very much, I've completed my PhD. And I told her that I'm interested in uh, resistant market as well, because that is my passion. And she was happy to, to join again, hands yeah. together. So she said, we can apply a travel grant and you can come and learn something that we are doing at one on the molecular data surveyor okay. and at least we can apply together a funding um, from Welcome Trust or another funding object. So that's how we, I came to hear about Oxford yeah. Africa Initiative. Uh, currently she's working with one, it yeah. is Worldwide and Malaria Resistant Network. Yeah. So this is a platform where they collect all molecular marker um, uh, data of uh, anti malaria resistance mm. in, in everywhere, I can say, in the world. So, what she came to realize, and I, I also had an interest of doing molecular marker studies in Tanzania because none so far has been done in our areas, but uh, it's something that is missing on the one uh, mm. platform and, and uh, the one, what I can say, molecular surveyor data. Yeah. So, um, I thought we could um, develop a, a protocol together. First of all, I can do a literature search, yeah. a, a comprehensive literature search, to see where exactly these molecular marker studies have been done in Tanzania. Yeah. And later on, I can conduct myself, as I've said, the molecular marker assessment in Tanzania. And also, I can contribute to the um, big pool of data at one. And perhaps, at the long run, I, we can be, I can be an ambassador in East Africa for the one platform molecular marker survey data. The step at the moment is to go back yeah. to the literature review at the first uh, platform for the project. Yeah. So I'll have to do a baseline survey yeah. of the literature that are present yeah. and data that have been um, done in Tanzania yeah. and to see where the gap is. After seeing where the gap and then we can uh, modify our protocol because we've already de developed and yeah. shared with some people okay. and so we can we can um, add more on our, our protocol or proposal written to say we have done this so far and here is where the gap is and we improve the, the protocol and we can apply for funding. So the, our aim is to apply for funding and then you can conduct a comprehensive study in Tanzania. 
So, um, Oxford is an old city, <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. People are good, and uh, I, it's good that I'm just staying near here so I can walk around. But the weather it was not friendly. <laughs> It is uh, amazing that I was thinking it is going to be not that cold, but I, when I just dropped from the bus, <laughs> I was completely shocked with the weather. But I managed and I, I'm coping. Okay. So I believe things are fine so far and I'll miss the Oxford. Taking the buses, sometimes I, I, I forgot to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you... The driver can we pay after, but oh, I remember that I'm supposed to pay before going into the bus. <laughs> something silly, but yeah. Okay.